Today we're going to talk about a fun aspect of Windows 7 called gadgets. It's something that has been around for quite a while for Mac users in their dashboard, but now Windows users have a much better implementation of it than any previous version of Windows. And gadgets are simply little tools that you can add to your desktop that you can add and remove and customize at any point you want and move them anywhere on the screen that you would like. So to get a gadget started, we're going to right click on the desktop and then we're going to click gadgets. The gadget screen comes up and then I can drag for example the weather gadget out to the desktop. To customize your weather you click the little wrench right here and then you can type in a zip code or a name of a city. Once your city does appear in the current location you, you can choose whether you want to show Fahrenheit or Celsius, click OK and then you get the current temperature for that city right in your gadget. Let's create one more weather gadget by right clicking, go to gadgets, click the weather and drag him out to the desktop. That's where your solitaire skills come in handy. Again, you can move him anywhere you want on the screen. Click the wrench. We'll choose, I'm going to type in a zip code this time and then click OK and then you get another city. So you can move these anywhere you want. Instead of just getting the current temperature, if you want to forecast for either of these cities, just click this little arrow right here that makes it larger. You'll get a nice three-day forecast. Anytime you want to shrink it, just click that again and you can shrink it. And again, to move the gadget, you simply click in the middle of the gadget and drag it wherever you'd like. If you decide you don't want a gadget any longer, click the X right here and then that closes the gadget. Now if I right click and go back to the gadget gallery you'll see that Microsoft has provided you with a few basic gadgets. So if I want to put a clock for example on my screen I can pull him out there and again if I click the wrench I'll get some options. So I'll get different analog options. I think they're all analog actually. Yep they're all analog and then you can even type in a name for the clock and whether or not you want to show the second hand and there it is and again just like I did with the weather right click gadgets if I want to have two clocks I can drag another one out there they can be totally different faces they don't have to be the same face click the wrench and I can choose a different time let's just choose for example Seoul Korea and now I have the time in Seoul, Korea. If I right click on my desktop, go to gadgets again, and if I decide there's not anything here that I want, then I can go right down in the lower right hand corner. It says get more gadgets online. So I'm going to click here on top downloads on the online gadget gallery. Some of them are going to cost you. I've never paid for one of these. So once I arrive at the gallery, I'm going to click here where it says rating and I want to see the top rated ones first because that means a lot of people are using them and they think they're good enough that they're willing to put their rating and say, hey, I like this particular item. So why not just put a Google search engine on there? So we're going to click download and it says, are you sure you want to do it? And I'll say yes, install. And then again, it asks me, are you sure? So I'll say go ahead. And then I get one more last time, do I want to install it? And I'll say yes. And now I've installed the Google gadget, this search gadget that we found online. That's how to use gadgets. You can customize your screen to whatever you would like. Remember to click on the X to get rid of a gadget. Click on the wrench to make changes to the gadget. Have fun gadgetizing your desktop.